It's a pleasure for me to welcome you and to make brief remarks as you attend your spring conference here in Washington, D.C. First, let me commend your leadership, uh, both Greg and Chip. Uh, they've done an outstanding job of representing their respective organizations and all of their members, and the legislative team for both the organizations as well. They've been very involved with uh, not only aviation, but airport issues over the years since I've been on the aviation subcommittee. When we wrote the uh, aviation bill, the FAA reauthorization bill in 2007, 2009, and again in 2010, when I chaired the aviation subcommittee, they were very involved and very helpful to me personally in putting the legislation together. Uh, I am very pleased now that we have a long-term FAA reauthorization bill. It's a good bill. It's not the bill that I would have preferred. I would have preferred to see the bill that we passed in 2007, 2009, and 2010. And some of the things that uh, I wish could have been in this bill that were not, did not make it into the final bill that was signed to the president by the president is one, uh, I would have liked to have seen an increase uh, in the PFC. I fought very hard to increase the PFC to $7. Uh, it was in our bill when it passed the House when I was chairman. Unfortunately, it didn't make it into the final bill when it was passed and signed into law this year. However, it is a good bill, and I can tell you that at least now airports in this country have the opportunity to do some planning and to move forward with construction and make the necessary improvements that they need to make. Uh, the challenge will be in the future, and that is we're going to have to figure out a way uh, to meet the demand as uh, more air travelers uh, uh, increase and begin to travel by air in the future. We're going to have to find the resources for airports to meet the demands and to make the expansions that they need to make. Uh, and that will come down to you. Your role uh, as you are in town now and in the future, please stay in touch with your legislators. Please spend time with members of the House and members of the Senate making sure that they understand your challenges as we move forward. It's very important that you continue to communicate with them on a regular basis. While you know I am not running for re-election, uh, but I will be around until January the 4th, the end of my term, and I look forward to continuing to work with Greg and Chip and others uh, as you face your challenges and as we deal with aviation issues. Finally, let me say, even though I will be leaving the Congress in January of next year, I intend to be around. I intend to stay active in issues involving trans uh, transportation and issues involving aviation. I wish you the very best and hope you have a great conference.